Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out two non-alcoholic beers. I know it's weird for our channel to do non-alcoholic beers, but here's the thing. In the last, I don't know, four or five years, non-alcoholic beer technology has gotten way better and the quality and consistency of non-alcoholic beers has actually improved a lot. Um, we don't drink a ton of non-alcoholic beers, no. but the thing about them that's cool is that after a hard day's work or when it's really, really hot outside and you don't wanna weigh yourself down, non-alcoholic beers are kind of amazing because you don't feel as just bleh. Or, you know, when you're working from home and you don't necessarily wanna be buzzed. Uh, yeah. You can drink um, while you can you're still working. drink a beer. So uh, here we have the um, Three Notched Brewing Company's non-alcoholic IPA. Um, and we have the Brew Dog Embrace Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Hazy AF. Uh, which one should we start with? What do you want to do? Uh, Brew Dog. Brew Dog, it is. This one is nice and cold. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh, it looks like water. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost clear. A lot of them, um, yeah, wow. A lot of them do have, they don't have a ton of body. Um, non alcoholic beers are made by de a process called dealcoholization. And you can either do a couple different techniques. You can do um, reverse osmosis after, the, so you brew the beer and then you reverse osmosis the beer to take away the alcohol or you can distill it. Mm. So depending on kind of the financials of the brewery kind of depends on what they do, I guess. So um, that's the process. You basically brew a beer and then you debrew the beer. Right off the cut, we are looking at this sort of like translucent, Slightly pale, slightly hazy sort of. It says hazy AF. I mean, but this is not hazy AF. I guess if you're talking about like a hazy coarse light, then yeah. Yeah. But I don't know if that would really be considered hazy. This looks like a lemonade. Yeah, it does. Well, it's not even as opaque as a lemonade. Brewdog from Ohio. Uh, United we stand for better beer, fiercely defiant and independent. I like that. Non alcoholic near beer, they call it. So. Yeah, okay. We could classify the look as near beer, I suppose. Well, I guess so. What does it smell like? It smells great, actually. It actually really does. Now, this smells like a really good IPA. I'm getting like a little... Getting some tropical notes yeah. in there, but then there's this weird... There's a weird like food smell. What is that? I don't know. That's funky. It smells like, like some kind of syrup or something. Let's just dive in and see what the hell this thing yeah. is all about. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Oh, wow, that's... That's horrible. That's terrible. Oh, man. Been yeah, a long that's... time since I've had a beer that bad. <laughs> that literally, that tastes like an off flavor. I don't know if that's acetaldehyde because it's so freaking light. Like if, if, if somebody accidentally put something in water, yeah, like they, so, like something dropped into the water, like splashed so, a little bit. Yeah, so That's, it's like mostly water, but with like some, a hint of like bitterness. I hate to say it, but don't buy this beer. This is not great. Brew Dog, I expected a little bit better from you, to be honest. Yeah. Um, a lot of the Brew Dog stuff that we've had that is alcoholic is amazing. It's great. It's, it's good beer. Uh, the non-alcoholic side of things, however, for Brew Dog doesn't seem to hold up. So let's move it along and uh, try the three notched because we know those guys are awesome. Okay, back again. So here is the three notched non-alcoholic IPA, they call it. The other good thing about these beers is that they're really low in calories, usually under a hundred calories. Um, okay, that looks way more like a beer to me. That's the other perk. So that if you're uh, dieting, but you still want a beer, then, then go for there a you go. Alcoholic, assuming that there's any good ones. No fat, no protein, 16 grams of carbohydrates, 90 calories. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> All right. Well, yeah, this one looks a little bit more like beer to me. A yeah. um, little bit darker in color, more of a golden color yeah. than the other one was. 
Definitely a better head. Uh, looks like the retention is a little bit better on that, so definitely has um, more bubblies happening. Mm. Smells grainy as hell. Yeah, it smells like wow. It smells like a grain house. Like when yeah. you're when you're graining in, that's what it sounds like. It smells like. Hmm. That's weird. Yeah, it's weird. I've never smelled beer like that. No hop character whatsoever. It's just all grain. Well, let's dive in and see what this one's all about. Cheers. I'm getting like no bitterness. Yeah. This one says it's made with Cascade. Um, but that's pretty clean though. It's clean. Yeah, it's definitely cleaner than the BrewDog one. 0.35% alcohol in this one. So wow, you're not even, even getting less. 1%. You're not even getting half a percent. Like it doesn't really remind me of beer necessarily. I think it does. Well, I'm not getting any like bitter character. It's there, but it's vague and it kind of hangs out in the back and it disappears quickly. Pure grain, basically. Like I'm guessing the non-alcoholic side of things doesn't sell very well for any brewery. So why waste expensive hops on brew day when you could just use as little as possible? Yeah. And that's, I think, what happened here. But you want it decent enough, otherwise you're just throwing away money because no one's gonna buy it. Right, 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 right. Actually, I would, I would drink this again, for sure. I might. I don't know. Mm. So on a scale of one to four, uh, one being terrible, do not buy this, to uh, two being like, yeah, relatively okay and decent, mediocre, three being really quite good, and four being outstanding, what would you rate the BrewDog first beer? Definitely a one. I would give it a one as well. For sure. Don't buy that beer. That is probably one of the worst non-alcoholic beers I've ever had. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Not great. For the three notched, what would you give it on a scale of one to four? Personally, I would give it a three. I think I would give it a two. Average, not bad. All right, guys, well, that wraps up our non-alcoholic beer comparison. Thanks for tuning in. If you like what you saw, hit that subscribe button down below. We'll see you next time. Stay crafty. Cheers. Cheers.